Okay, we weren't sure which character was coming. I'm still wearing my polo. Uh, polo used to be a fairly popular men's fragrance. Uh, okay, so polo, uh, I'm not going to talk about, you know, polo with horses and things uh, being for filthy rich people who never work a day in their lives and, you know, now and again, the reason I close my eyes a lot or I go for a walk and, you know, I film myself quiet is because I'm showing you that I meditate throughout the day. Um, I do take time when I'll sit up straight and close my eyes, uh, close my eyes so that I'm not paying attention to the outside world, even in, believe it or not, in the karaoke bar. In between my songs, if I'm not too much bothered by other people, I will often close my eyes and breathe regularly. And meditate. Now, sometimes in the bar, it's a problem because people, you know, like the bar staff, um, see somebody with their eyes closed and they think you're drunk and sleeping and you're not allowed to be drunk and sleeping in a bar. So, you know, if that happens, I say, I'm not sleeping, I'm meditating, but then I kind of get like the feeling like it's maybe not the best idea to close my eyes too much at the bar and meditate. Um, but I do it anyway, you know, because there's some times when I just need to get a stronger connection to source and meditation is one it's really the best way and is there another way let's leave it at that that is how you connect to source and what is source higher consciousness it's the wisdom that is going to give you the information that you're going to need to run um well in 3D Earth terms, it's basically going to determine where you're going to go and what you're going to say when you get there. So it keeps you out of ego mind. The other things that happen when you meditate, it's very healing for your body. If your body is tired or you've got aches and pains, headaches, um, meditation is very good. Uh, it doesn't necessarily cure your pain, believe it or not, but it brings in a big whoosh of energy. I can feel it coming in. So it and that energy helps your body to heal and stay healthy. Also, drink lots of fluids. Lots and lots of fluids. Bring lots of water with you. If you're going out for the day and you've got a pack sack, load it up with lots of water. Whether you, or Even if you don't have water to bring with you, um, um, club soda is very good. Um, If you don't have anything else, then let's just stay. Um, more water and less sugar. Because the problem with sugar drinks is.
The problem with sugar drinks is they're too sweet. And you're going to raise your blood sugar uh, and spike it. And you're probably going to get a big rush like, you know, children that have too much sugar. They go bonkers for a little while until the sugar rush wears off. And then you know what happens to children. They get really cranky. So they get super hyper and then they get cranky because you put so much sugar into your body. It takes a lot of insulin to control your blood sugar. So for a little while you get a rush and then you get the insulin comes in and it might overreact because you have so much sugar. You get a huge dose of insulin being produced by your pancreas, the islets of Langerhans, and then you get too much insulin and then you get low blood sugar. And when your, low your sugar is low, you tend to get really, really cranky. So in the end, uh, you should avoid sugar drinks. Uh, the best thing is um, plain water. And if you have no plain water at the immediate time and you're going to be away for the day, at least bring something. Sugar drinks are better than nothing. Stop at the corner store. And what about the diet drinks? When I'm closing my eyes and meditating, I'm asking for higher wisdom to come in. Higher wisdom says if you're going to stop at the corner store, buy bottled water. And if you really hate plain bottled water, you could go for some coffee. You could go for some, uh, try not to put too much sugar in your coffee. Okay, what about diet sweeteners and diet, diet sodas? I would say... <clears throat> prefer you not to use anything sweetened, whether it's diet or not. Because there's some studies that say that using diet pop is just as bad as sugar pop because it screws around and it fools your um, insulin system. Some people say that, I, I don't think it's too much toxicity you know, these ideas that it's, you know, the aspartame causes all these problems. Um, biochemically, biochemically, that's, that's incorrect unless the uh, diet soda has been sitting out in the heat. If it's a hot summer day and it's like very hot and over a period of time, the aspartame can break down into its components parts. And some of those are not too good for you at all. But if it breaks down in your body, phenylketonuriacs, people who have got trouble with that kind of um, amino acid shouldn't use it. Everyone knows that, hopefully. And for the average person, I'll tell you my personal history. Uh, I've drank so much diet pop over the years so much diet pop it's unbelievable more diet pop than sugar pop and uh, did it hurt me no no so if you're concerned about all these other kinds of people saying stay away from diet pops and stuff well then just get the water or get a coffee or but if you're not too concerned about it and, you know, you just don't like water, uh, get the diet pop preferably to the sugar pop. It's, is it still screwing around with your system?
The studies say, are the studies true? I'm not going to go and try and figure it out. I've given you the best advice I can. If you want really good advice, um, you can't keep tuning in to me. This is the, the issue that people always want to come to somebody who has got answers for them. You are, are by nature all ready to start meditating. It is a natural thing for a human to do. And if you meditate, just like I do, if you've got a question, you go silent, you get silent mind, you go into the gap, and you wait. Now, granted, I've been meditating a very long time, so it doesn't take me too long to get what I need. If you're a new meditator, uh, you need to meditate a hell of a lot because you've got a way more monkey mind than I do. So your monkey mind, I mean, I hear monkey minds, not my monkey mind, but there are other beings that are around that have got bad monkey mind. And when I'm going quiet, they start chirping. But I know what a monkey mind is, and it gets ignored, and quite often I will say, you got monkey mind, little being, and you need to go meditate. And a lot of them get cute. Now, sometimes um, they help me. Believe it or not, even someone who's meditated for, let's go with 20 years, sometimes I get caught by monkey mind. It's true. So the other little beings that uh, hang around me, uh, we do each other favors. And one of the favors is if uh, I'm caught up in monkey mind, mental masturbation, thinking things, and the problem with thinking things is quite often it's bullshit and it's incorrect. They will remind me, they'll say, remember before when something was going on and we said to you, uh, uh, you're not acting properly and... Um, Later on, after you calmed down and meditated, you came back to us and you said, thank you so much for interrupting my monkey mind. So if there's a group of you, um, get in the habit of watching each other. And if it appears you're acting goofy, say, uh, you're acting goofy. Do you remember, you know, before you, we had this talk about meditation and that if you're acting goofy, I should, um, you know, remind you you're acting goofy so that you'll just take a few minutes out to close your eyes and calm down inside. So it really does help to have a group of people you know meditate. If you hang around with a bunch of people who have got monkey mind that are drinking heavy amounts of booze, it's not just people who drink booze. There's a lot of people that don't drink booze, a lot of older people um, who spend all their time uh, when they get home plugged into the television set. Or young, young people who spend a hell of a lot of time with their tablets playing things like, I don't know what. Are some of these video games good? Um... No, they're not. They're not good. They should be disconnecting from their tablet and they should be going into a quiet space and meditating. So young people as young as, I don't know, as young as you can get them. Get them training early to meditate every day, multiple times a day. And whenever they're feeling not good, first thing you do, if you can, is... Go to a quiet place and meditate. If you're driving down the highway or in the city and you're feeling not well, and if you've got time, you know, you're not, you not, don't have an appointment that you have to keep, a good idea is to pull over into a parking lot somewhere and turn off the car. I mean, if it's hot, you might want to leave it on with the air conditioning on. Turn off the radio. And close your eyes and have a rest. 
Maybe you're going to fall asleep. You think you're going to meditate and maybe you fall asleep. That's fine. It means your body needed to sleep more than it needed a meditation. It does happen from time to time. But either way, you're giving your body a break. Pushing your body around when it's tired or it's got monkey mind is very foolish. Okay, there's your update. Okay, I'm going to reverse the hat and have a drink of water. Remember, this is actually um, tea. It's cold tea I brewed earlier and I just uh, drink it hot or cold. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, Remember to take time out multiple times a day if you're at work uh, on your coffee break instead of going to gossip at the water cooler or going out for a smoke. If you're going outside, maybe go away from all the smoking, gossiping people and go for a little walk around the block. You can have a walking meditation and if there's a little park with a little park bench, maybe go sit there. Or a nice tree and some nice grass go sit under the tree in other words the monkey mind people will gossip 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 office politics garbage is you don't need it but you do need lots of time to disconnect from monkey minded humans thanks for watching i'm harry weaver